this is um, Ortega Street. Um, this goes back to the home over on Kosica. Ortega is a, um, it can be a fairly busy street just because it goes um, from 98 and then back to High School Boulevard, which um, obviously there's a lot of traffic when the school's getting out and stuff, but Kosica is off of Ortega. Um, also, the intersection at Ortega and 98 can be a little horrendous, but you can actually cut down um, a side road and go out at Panhandle Trail and there's a red light there, which is what most people do. Now they're putting in a grocery store right here at the corner of Ortega 98. Um, I can't remember the name, Aldi I think is what it's called. Um, and I, I've heard they're gonna in, make them install uh, a red light at that intersection just because they expect the traffic to um, obviously increase with that grocery store right there people going in and out so um, but I don't think at our last county meeting that was um, confirmed yet um, so anyway so this is driving back into the neighborhood um, there's a couple of different little communities known back here most of these homes were built by Adams um, so you've got um, Ashford Estates I believe is what it's called Hampton Estates and then there's one more that I can't um, recall the name of but they're all very similar homes. Um, believe the Kosica house is part of the Hampton estate, so it. But there is no association fee. So. This Florida girl is about done with this weather for sure. <laughs> My daughter hates cold weather also. She had to put on fleece lined pants today and it almost killed her. <laughs> Even um, for as busy as these, this little community is back here, as far as people coming in and out, um, still there's a lot of um, people that walk um, in the afternoons. Um, a lot of kids ride their bikes to and from school, so it's a, it's a safe neighborhood, safe community. Um, so you could definitely walk. There are sidewalks on both sides. So. All right, let's go check out the house. <laughs> 